Most NFL players never get to play in a Super Bowl, let alone win one. But Jalen Hurts has already won a ring in only his second season as a starter. But how did he do it? Well, here's the story of Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts' journey to stardom began in Houston, Texas, where he attended Channel View High School, playing football and competing in powerlifting. Jalen came from an athletic family. His brother, Averion, played quarterback at Texas Southern University, and his father coached them in high school. So Jalen had everything he needed to learn and play football at a high level. But Jalen wasn't gifted with typical quarterback height, standing at only six foot one. But what he lacked in height, he made up in strength, because by his sophomore year in high school, Jalen could already squat 500 pounds. He was the strongest kid in school and dominated lifting competitions, even qualifying for regional finalists. Jalen was a really talented passer, but an even better runner because of his strength. After graduating, Jalen went on to play for Alabama in 2016. Jalen was so good that he became the first true freshman to start at Alabama in 32 years. Jalen had a fantastic freshman season, throwing for 2,780 yards and 23 touchdowns, also adding another three touchdowns, rushing. Jalen helped lead the Alabama squad to the national championship game versus Clemson. Unfortunately, Alabama fell to Clemson, but that wouldn't stop Jalen because the following year in 2017, he would again lead Alabama to the national championship. At halftime of the game, the Crimson Tide were down 13-0, so Jalen was benched for Tua Tungvaloa, who ended up winning the game. Tua would eventually be named the starter, and Jalen would end up transferring in 2019 to Oklahoma. Jalen would have a phenomenal season at Oklahoma, breaking school records and finishing second in Heisman voting behind Joe Burrow. Jalen declared for the draft, hoping to sneak his way into the first round of what was already a stacked quarterback class. Even after all his success in the SEC, there were still questions about Jalen's ability to throw the ball, so he was taken in the second round of the 2020 draft by the Eagles. During the majority of his rookie season, Jalen sat on the bench as Carson Wentz back up. But after all the struggles between Carson and the coaching staff, Wentz was benched in favor of Jalen. Jalen's first start was against the Saints in Week 16, where he threw 167 yards and one touchdown, also adding another 106 on the ground. His breakout game would be the following week when he silenced all the doubters and threw for 338 yards and three touchdowns against the Cardinals. The next season, Carson would be traded and Jalen was officially the starter. What most experts thought was going to be a terrible football team ended up going 8-7 and seven and making it to the playoffs, but that was nothing compared to what they would do the next year. In 2022, Hurts and the Eagles would have an amazing season, going 14-1 when Jalen was the starter. Jalen would throw for 22 touchdowns, but also rush for an additional 13. His sheer strength and ability to run the ball, especially for short yardage to get a touchdown or a 4th and 1, made him almost unstoppable. In a game against Green Bay, Jalen would rush for 157 yards, breaking the Eagles' QB record for yards in a game. Jalen would be selected to the Pro Bowl and named a second team all pro. After his great season, Jalen proved any doubters that still remained wrong by winning his first playoff game against the Giants, 38-7. But the Eagles didn't stop there. The next week in the NFC Championship game, the Eagles would dominate the 49ers, beating them by the score of 31-7, advancing to their second Super Bowl in five years, facing off against the Kansas City Chiefs.